Today we will discuss perhaps the most rewarding question in mathematics, or number theory at least. What is the formula for prime numbers? More precisely, does there exist a function from naturals to naturals such that each value is a different prime number? If you manage to create such a function, you will immediately put your name into history and become insanely rich. This is because so many conjectures and applications depend on prime numbers. The twin prime conjecture, Goldbach's conjecture, and even Riemann hypothesis and cryptography. All these centuries-old problems become a lot easier if this formula is invented. Capturing all primes in a single formula might be too difficult of a task to start with. So let's try to generate an infinite number of primes, not necessarily all of them. William Mills has produced this remarkable formula, which gives a prime for each natural n. These weird brackets denote the flow function, which means that we take the closest integer from below as our answer. a is a constant, and there is a slight issue with it. We don't know what it equals to. Mills did not give a constructive proof, meaning that he proved the existence of such number a, but hasn't actually calculated it. We don't even know if it's rational or irrational, so finding it out is a very complex task. Ok, maybe we can at least try to produce a sequence which contains infinitely many primes but also produce composite numbers. The most famous such sequence is called Mersenne numbers. They are constructed by simply raising 2 to the nth power and subtracting 1. Surprisingly many exponents give off prime numbers, but 2 to the 11th minus 1, for example, is composite. It is not known whether there are infinitely many Mersenne primes and, in fact, there is a big hunt for larger and larger Mersenne primes, which can win you a lot of money. And I have a whole different video about it. Anyway, it was Euclid who demonstrated a link between Mersenne primes and perfect numbers. These numbers have a special property. If you add all their divisors, excluding the number itself, you get the number. So, 6 is a perfect number, and 28 is also a good example. Euclid proved that if p is a Mersenne prime, then p times p plus 1 over 2 will be a perfect number. And almost 2000 years later, Euler proved the opposite. Any even perfect number will be of this form. We come so close to creating a sequence with infinitely many primes, but again, there is a limitation. Nobody knows whether there is an infinite number of even perfect numbers. We don't even know if there are any odd perfect numbers. So, try proving it and win yourself an infinite glory. So far, we only saw exponential functions, so maybe we will get more lucky if we use multiplication and addition. Let's try polynomials. This guy is famous. If you plug in x equals 1, or 2, or 3, or any other number up to 40, you will get prime numbers back. The first composite value arises for x equals 41. Maybe we can experiment and find a polynomial which generates prime numbers only? Actually, you can prove that no polynomial with integer coefficients can only produce prime numbers. So, we hit a wall here as well. But I want to end this video on a positive note. Let's think about arithmetic progressions. If a and b have a common factor, then all of the terms will be divisible by that factor, and so the sequence will not contain any primes. And what happens if a and b are coprime? 
Legendre made a conjecture that such a sequence will contain an infinite number of primes. Lucky for us, it was proved by Dirichlet in 1837. As an example, you can try and prove that there are infinitely many primes of the form 4n plus 3. Even though this is true, primality testing is still not a trivial task for mathematicians. And this result turns out very weak when it comes to generating large prime numbers. So, the primes are not too willing to share their secrets.